Okay, so this is a, basically a focus exercise. Um, what I want to do is I have a handful of treats, my, my non-dominant hand, for my case it's the left hand, one treat my right. I'm going to hold them like this so they look, sym uh, look symmetrical. I want to know what I got, and I'm going to position the dog between my knees and my knees shoulder width apart. Now he's looking for the, trying to get the, going to where the treats actually are, but that's not what's going to give him the treat. What's going to get him the treat is looking at me in the face. Focus. And what we should see as we practice this is him, continue, him looking at me in the face faster and faster. The first couple ones, he doesn't understand what gets him the treat, so he just looks to where they are, where he can smell them. Focus and identify where they're coming from. Focus. Focus. Now what I want to do is a two movement move. I'm going to demonstrate it here. I want to do one more. He is a weird chewer. Mm. So it's one movement, two movement. So it looks like a number seven or an L, upside down L on this. Um, I want to raise it just about four to six inches in front of my nose in between my, my gaze from my eyes to his eyes. This is called a focus exercise. Focus, there we go. So just like the uh, heel exercise, the first couple times we want, we want to do it, we want to make sure there aren't a lot of people running around or moving around the room. As we practice it, then we want to incorporate those sort of things. Focus. The idea for this exercise is once you have it down pat, you can say focus as you walk by another focus dog or something that he reacts to. Instead of him looking there, he looks up at the human because he's anticipating getting the treat. Focus. You notice now he's looking at me faster and faster. Focus. So now I'm slowing down the second step. Instead of being one second, one second, it's one second, two seconds. This one is always one second, the vertical. The second one, we want to eventually get up to 20 seconds. Focus. Every time the treat goes in his mouth, he hears the command word focus. Focus. Now I'm going to start slowing down the second step. I pulled it away there because he was starting to try to go get it. Focus. I want him to learn that he has to wait for me to give it to him, not be able to take it. Focus. Luckily he has a soft mouth, but he does kind of gobble with your whole finger. Now, the, the idea for doing this is we want to keep it again to one to two minute practice sessions and maybe about a dozen treats each time we do it. And I would do it again in a quiet room to start off with, but then we want to start adding distractions. So the whole goal of this exercise is to teach our dog to focus amongst distractions. So once the dog is pretty much no longer looking at your, or pawing at your hands, it's just looking up at you, then we start going, uh, uh, then we start doing it in different rooms or different uh, levels of distraction. If you have a TV and you have a DVR, I would recommend recording a program that has a dog barking, especially if your dog is reactive to other dogs, because that sound is a strong trigger. Now, when there's, they're on a walk and there's a dog barking, we have a lot of things to deal with. We have the actual proximity to the other dog, the sight of the other dog, the smell of the other dog, and the auditory of the other dog. What we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna just break it down to one step only, just the auditory. Now, what I would do is when you start playing the barking dog on the TV, have it at volume two or three. When he consistently can give you the focus, even though he hears the dog barking, next time you practice it, maybe bump it up to level six, then level eight. Don't go too big a jump, 
but we want it small intervals until eventually we have it playing on our stereo and it sounds like we actually have a real dog in the room and he filters that out because he's expecting getting this treat. Focus. The great thing about German Shepherds is they have amazing focus. Most people don't tap into it and it works against them. Focus. Focus. I didn't have to raise the treat that time. So this is a residual that works really fast but it's not gonna work in their other dogs and distractions around them. That's why we have to build up to it. For this exercise, I like to see you doing it two to five times a day minimum. But again, like the other exercises I talked about, the more, uh, and the more often you practice it, the faster he's gonna get it. This is how we teach our dog to focus.